It's unbelievably warm and inviting. It's absolutely paradise. St. Martin, stop number two, St. Lucia. Fincantieri. I think this is the uh, company that built this boat in Venice in 2018. So after leaving St. Martin, it was time for trivia. Here with my my friends that I I met uh, here on the ship. Yeah, so, you know, when you travel uh, solo, you, you end up meeting people, and these people are very nice, and uh, next thing you know, I'm hanging out, we're doing trivia. Right? Yes, right. absolutely. We're very we all the answers. He's a smart Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I met Bob and Mary at the first trivia contest, and Tom and Cheryl playing blackjack. At a later trivia meetup, we all joined forces, and we did all right sometimes, but never actually won. All right, we are at sea again. We are on our way to St. Lucia. I'm here, I've got to order dinner. I think I'm gonna have black bean soup. Yes. We have uh, about to land in St. Lucia. You go to sleep, and you wake up in a new port. I love it. I'm gonna go out to the third deck and see where we are. Today I'm doing a Segway tour and ends with some beach time. Could be cool. So, uh, St. Lucia, here we come. Sunday. Going out to three. There is our destination, St. Lucia. I keep thinking that if we had to get in those lifeboats, that the drop to the ocean would be quite traumatic. But I guess if you're about to sink, you probably aren't concerned with a bumpy ride. All right, well, that's the other side of the ship. See the sun's creeping through. Oh, we have a a tugboat, if you will. A tugbird. So this is just, you know, going around the level three deck. It goes all the way around the boat. Good way to get your laps in. I thought I would go to breakfast early, but I got the time wrong. I'm early as usual. Yeah, damn it, it's 7.30, not seven. It's okay. Oh, I need to take my pills. Could I trouble you for a glass of water? Yes, you remember my name. You're so good. Thank you. Yes, and I'm filming you now. Hello. <laughs> Miss Michelle, she's very nice. Hello, St. Lucia. All right. It really is great to wake up to a new island. The dock crew waiting to tie up the boat. So I found my tour group and filled out a waiver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. My name is King. I would be your host, entertainer, and tour guide for the entire day. This here is my wonderful driver, Mr. Ray Ray. Can we say good morning to Mr. Ray? Ray Ray. Good morning, morning, everybody. Good Good morning. This is the most exclusive property next to the airport. People are dying to get in there. This island has changed hands 14 times in the 17th and 18th centuries. All right, this is what we're riding today. These are some off-road style. I haven't ridden these, but these are great. And there's King, there's our guy. All right, so 
So we're going to be falling in line, single file, keeping a safe distance from each other. We moved very slowly through some beautiful areas. And when I say slowly, I mean this is ridiculous. These segways are pretty great. Look at that old plantation house. Is this the speed that we're going to be going at? Yes, for now. So we were told specifically to stay six to ten feet behind each other. If you want to go ahead, you can if you want. I mean, we're just going at. I think this would be the, the unsafe distance he was talking about. But hey, go ahead. So King thought he would go talk to a young lady on the tour. I'm sure one of the other guys must have called his girlfriend because he was soon on the phone. Hey baby, yeah, I'm out here on a tour with a bunch of old folks. It's all good. Nice views, but mostly of the people in front of me. The citronella bay leaf is used as a natural repellent against the national bird, the mosquito. Crush it and rub the oils on your skin. In 1942, two British ships were sunk in Castries Harbor by German subs. That brought the Americans here in 1944. And they replaced a cannon with an anti-aircraft gun. They raised all the trees on this mountain so they could have a good sight line. They never saw any action. They also built a couple of ammo bunkers. To the back of us, second bunker on this trip. This one is the 10 by 10 built and used specifically for storage of backup ammunition. Just as you heard the old saying, don't store all your eggs in one basket, the Americans never stared all the shells in one bunker. Since 10 feet beneath the hill, you may need your flashlight. This is a little dark in here. But feel free to check it out, folks. After sending people in to take a look, he goes up and scares them. I told him that the speed on these things was driving me crazy and he put mine on a higher setting. <laughs> so it's way more sensitive, easier to maneuver and really fast. Much appreciated, dude. All right, folks, so find your machines. We are going to be continuing. Single file following each other. There you go, you have the right idea. Like a stallion that wants to run, but they won't let me had to stay in line. And yes, I refused to take my sun hat off. We will now visit one of the hideouts of Peg Leg, or Francois Leclerc, as his mother called him. The first pirate to visit St. Lucia. He would raid Spanish ships and then slip into this cove. He would block the cove with his ship and then cover it in leaves to camouflage it. Back down the hill, that mountain at the tip there is Pigeon Island. It wasn't always connected to the mainland. That was a recent thing. Pegleg had his main hideout there. With a quick stop at the beach, and I mean quick, we moved on. I'm sure the horse likes these segways. It doesn't have to carry as many fat tourists anymore. And just like that, the segway tour is over. 
Right. Do you mind if I just set my towel here? Thanks. We were brought back to a beach for a couple hours to chill. Oh, so nice. Wow. Wow. I just... Wow. Well, this looks like a fun boat. Unbelievably warm, inviting. It's absolutely paradise. <sighs> Amazing. This chill kitty was waiting for us. Yes, I, I kind of like Barbados. I could come back here for sure. Interestingly enough, St. Lucia is the only country in the world named after a woman. Look, Domino's, I've heard of that place. Okay, who can solve this chess puzzle? I'll wait. Okay, enough time. Color choices are really great. This one, this one. And just like that, back to the boat. It's massive. Something they, uh, I guess, offer in hot ports yesterday they have these cool towels put in the back of your neck. Thank you. Perfect. There weren't any runners at this port. As far as I know, no one was ever left behind. Since I've never been on a cruise before, I am very curious to see how it all works. I want to see the guys do the lines. When the boat is ready to shove off, a crew goes to work to release all the lines that were keeping us in place automatically pulled in by some sort of system. In this case, a boat has to take a guy out here to do it. Well, that didn't take long. Now we are free to sail away. And we're off. Next stop, Barbados. But not without cruising Soufriere Bay. We stayed here for a couple of hours and took some pictures. Sorry for the delay. I'm going to really try to hustle this next video out. Luckily, I've been busy working and recording more travel videos. So, lots of content to come. Stay tuned.